self-sufficient, like we've talked about in the past, with our three before T, okay? With our three before T, we talked about how to become more self-sufficient, right? Which means what? Doing it yourself, right? Being able to find those answers on your own. Exactly. However, this is gonna be ways like if I'm absent, how can I get the information myself without even having to talk to Ms. Anderson? Uh, unless you have other questions, how can I get the information myself? How can I do it myself? Because they can tell you in eighth grade, there's gonna be a lot less of this reminding you to do things, okay? Um, so I'm trying to get you ready for that, but also get you, um, take some things off my plate. So just so that you're aware, last year I had four classes that have, I, so probably, I think there was about 85 of you. So 85 students, sixth grade, okay? Now I have seven classes. So now I have 140, 150 students, okay? So when I don't remember talking to you yesterday about your topic sentences, it's not because I didn't care about that conversation. It's because I've had 139 other conversations just like that since that time. Does that make sense? Okay, so when, um, what's really important is that you take care of you and you know where you're at in your writing and you know what's going on in you for your language arts life, okay? Because I can't keep track of that for 150 people, okay? So I'm gonna try to give you some tools to help you with that today, okay? So one of them is this. So if you go to Schoology, I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna give you a chance to do it. When you're in Schoology, the very first link is this. And as seventh graders, you would have seen this last year. My, for my sixth graders, this is new. <coughs> There's an assignment sheet here. When you open it up, it shows you all of the assignments. Okay, this is this week. Below, I have last week. Why would I keep last week on there? Yeah. Yeah, and if you forgot to look last week, it's still there. All right, so you can look. Okay, so this week. You guys are blue for seventh grade. And then now, there it is. So this is today. Today, we blog. Did we do that? Yeah. I'm introducing materials for self-sufficiency and responsibility. That's right now. We're looking at the assignment list. That's right now, okay? So you can see exactly what we're doing. And if your parents went to conferences, they have a link to this document as well so that they can see what we're doing in class, okay? If you're gone. Oh, I know I'm gonna be gone tomorrow. There it is. I know I was gone Monday. There it is, okay? This saves time of us, me having to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with everyone. However, if you have some questions about what it is, then I can address those. So if you read that and you have a question about what that means, then you can email me and ask for help on that. However, from this point forward, it is your responsibility and the expectation that you have looked at this by the time you sit back in this classroom. So if you were gone Friday and you come back Monday and you're not gonna say, what did I miss? You're not gonna act like you were never gone because that seems to happen a lot, right? You're gonna come in knowing what you missed and having already ma made some plans to get that caught up. Does that mean it has to be done the second you walk in? No, but you have to be aware of what you missed. Questions on any of that? I'm gonna give you a chance at the end to get to both of these resources. Is that helpful to have that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then you don't have to email me either and ask me unless you have questions. The reason that Kylie is videotaping is some people, I don't know actually who was gone today, but if someone was gone today, Brianna. Brianna's gone today, okay? She could click on the, I'm gonna put a link, the exact video she's taking is gonna be linked right here she can click on that and watch this lesson she doesn't miss a minute of instruction I agree. okay does that help okay so then she knows what to do or if tomorrow we're working on hooks and it says write a hook she doesn't know how to i don't know how to write a hook if i don't if i wasn't there for the lesson the lesson will be hooked right in there okay make sense yeah so that should be really helpful for you use it because I'm gonna be taking the time to do all that work and put it on there and make the videos. So use that sheet, okay? Second resource. 
go back to Schoology. It's the second link on here, writing process sheet. Open that up. Okay, you can see my first period in here. And I will go to your period down here. Period one, two, all my periods are listed here. So let's go to your period, period four. This shows you that today or tomorrow, I expect transitions to be completed. Okay, so not today, I, tomorrow, that's where you should be. We, if you were done with your topic sentences, I put an X in, everybody's done with those, except Brianna, which is why she has a little green highlight next to her. And then that means that maybe when she's back, I would have her come in at Cadet Title <coughs> Okay, the reason that this is available to you is yesterday, you know I was checking things off on paper, right? Now again, that's work for me that you could be doing when you get finished. When you get finished with your transitions, you can just go in and if Carson gets done today, he can put an X, now he knows he's done. Tomorrow when he comes in, we'll fill this in today. Tomorrow when he comes in, he knows he's already completed that work and he has some free time until we start working on hooks, okay? So not only does it give me information to show me who's not done, but it gives you information to show you where you're at in the process moving across, okay? One thing I have to say because I teach middle school is do not mess with anyone else's stuff, okay? This is not able to be messed with or this. These are all locked, so, because we don't ever need to change those other than me. You do have editing rights within this space. So if you thought it was fun to go in and say, oh, Aiden's not done, I'm gonna delete his. I can go into the editing history and I can see that. I can see that you did that, okay? So let's make better choices and not do that, okay? Another thing I talked about with my first period was if um, Carson's not done with his transitions but he just goes, I'm gonna put an X in there anyway because I, I don't wanna come in at that time so I'm just gonna put an X in there. That's not helpful to him because when we get to the end of the, end of the road and I grade his paper and he forgot to do transitions, that's gonna, that, that he's not gonna do well on that part of the rubric, okay? So it's really best for you if you're honest because then I can see where you're at and I can help you and I can also see, oh, there's, there's 10 people who are done with transitions. We'll move that into another day, okay? So it really helps me to get kind of a progress report of where you're at. So like say it was me and Aiden and then he was like busy doing something and he wanted me to cross off something for him on the sheet, would that be okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. As long as you have talked to that person, but we're not doing anything like putting any extra comments in or anything silly um, because this is just for work. Okay, and all of my periods are in here, so we're not touching any of the other tabs. We just need to stay on period four. Okay. Does that is that helpful? Yes. Okay, so tomorrow, so you would be able to look and see where you're at on your line. I can look down and see where the whole class is at. Um, I had I had records like this for me before, but I think it'll be nice that we're all we all can see it. Oh, uh, did you send it to? It's on Schoology on that list. Okay, so you'll just go on the Schoology for it. Okay, any of the mini lessons I take will also be on Schoology, so you can go back and watch those. Um, but they'll also be linked in here, like I talked about. Okay, but there's the mini lesson video, like what she's taking right now will be in this folder later today. Okay. Try to do some things to be proactive so that you guys can be more self-sufficient and you don't have to rely on me as much. Okay? All right, I'm gonna end with one more thing if I can find it. I showed you this picture last year, and I want to show you it again because I think it is kind of goes with being self-sufficient and being responsible for your own learning. So I want you to read that.
remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Right? It says doctors don't make you healthy. They can help you be healthy by giving you tips, ideas, medicine, but they don't all, they don't make you healthy. They're not magicians who do that for you. Okay? Teachers are the same way. I can give you tools, but if you don't take them, I can't make you learn. It's all about your choices. Same with trainers and coaches, right? Coaches can give you all the training you, that, they, that they can think of, all the exercises to do. But if you don't do them or do them with your full ability, you will never get there. So at some point, you have to realize that your growth is your responsibility. So we're putting that responsibility back on you. You can be responsible for your own growth, okay? Make sense? All right, I want you to get into Schoology and try to get on both of those resources just so we can make sure that that happens. And then we're gonna work on transitioning.